So today's video is going to be quite interesting to say the least. Um, this is the uh, H quad from my drop tests a while back. It's got the same uh, central aluminum frame but I put on different motors and arms. Back here in the back we have this weird beaver looking tail thing. As the quad is rising it folds down to be more aerodynamic but as it starts to fall, it folds up to be parallel with the frame. Here we have the Mobius and the Demica cameras. The Mobius is pointed backwards at the tail and the Demica is pointed forwards at this rocket engine on the front. Here we have the FPV camera and a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. I'm just using 2.4 gigahertz for control. It uses the NASA M light and for the battery, it's a 3000 milliamp hour four cell. So in the last free fall video, I was falling straight down kind of like a pancake. Um, the quad was basically just going like this. But this time it's gonna fall nose first. So like this, um, this is the nose right here. So this tail will hopefully hold the nose uh, pointed straight down. So it'll fall, fall, fall. And obviously there's not a lot of drag in that orientation. So it's gonna get going really fast. That's what this rocket engine is for. It's connected to an electronic ignition and I'm gonna ignite that at the end of the fall. And it's hopefully gonna slow the whole craft down a bit and then I'll be able to re-engage the motors, hit it into attitude mode, and it should be able to straighten itself out. Uh, I guess there's about a 50% chance of this going right. Not super likely, but we'll see. Something that might happen is the rocket engine will fire and the thing will just start to like spin and get out of control. So uh, it'll be interesting. I'm not gonna go up as high as the other drop tests just because there's no need to and that's dangerous. Uh, this, there is a rocket engine on here, but there's very low fire danger. It's been raining for the last couple days, so that's good. All right, so now the rocket engine's live. Now I'll take off. I wish you luck, quadcopter. All right, the video looks good. Pretty clear. Oh, I'm drifting a lot. There's some breeze up there. All right, I'm pleased with that altitude, so I'm going to lower my throttle to middle point. Right now it's in attitude mode, so now it's just hovering. I'm going to flip it into manual mode, nose down, lower my throttle. Now we're in a free fall. So I'm going to fire the rocket engine, flip it into attitude mode, Yep, one about right. The tail is drifting up there in the wind. Let me see if I can catch it. All right, now I'm running over to find it. It appears what happened is the uh, the rocket fired well, and it was it stayed stable when the rocket was firing, which is surprising. It went wrong when I tried to uh, raise the throttle back up after that in attitude mode, and the, the motors didn't turn on. And that's strange because I had it set to intelligent motor cut off so they should have stayed armed oh we have a lot of area to look through oh it's gonna take a while so i found the tail and it appeared there's a wind that's blowing north so the helicopter should be somewhere around this area over here i hear cows moving but i don't see any cows that's kind of creepy i should have brought another quadcopter to search for it Oh, there it is. Whoa, here's the video transmitter. At least it landed in a bush though and not just like straight on the ground. Oh, that's gnarly. Here's the little camera. Oh, here's one. Here's the Mobius. So I spent about 30 minutes searching for the Demica 
in that stupid bush and I can't find it. So all I can really think of doing is uh, going and watching the video from the Mobius and then seeing if that will give me any clues to find the Demica because they were kind of connected. So I rebuilt it, fixed everything back up. I still have the rocket engine, um, but this time around there's no big floppy tail. Uh, here's the Mobius right there. The Demica is over there somewhere. This will be look, gone forever. Um, so what I'm gonna do this time is keep the motors idling while it's free falling, nose down, um, and then fire the rocket engine once it gets going like 100 miles an hour, so just really fast. That'll slow it down, and then I'll just try and pull flat. So that's the plan. Hopefully it goes well. Now I'm gonna plug in the rocket engine so it's live. Now it's time to take off. <laughs> And we're rising. It's a little bit breezier than the last time. Okay, it looks good to me. I'm gonna go down to a hover, pull the goggles down, put it into manual mode, point the thing straight down, lower the throttle. Must be going really fast by now. Let's hit it. Huh, the rocket engine didn't fire. Oh. Well, I'll try it again. All right, it's go time. I'm lowering my throttle manual mode lowering the throttle stick a bit now tilting in in a dive and rocket engine worked so the rocket engine kind of threw it out of whack but it recovered still with quite a bit of altitude to to mess with so that's good So during the tests, I wasn't really sure if the rocket engine was actually slowing the thing down that much, but after looking at this ground footage from a GoPro shooting at 4K, it's clear the rocket engine really does make a big difference. It almost brings the quad to a complete stop. So that probably would have worked without the rocket engine, but whatever, it was a neat experiment. It's neat in concept. Maybe if you were doing like a really really long fall and uh, needed a way to slow it down but I'm not gonna be going really high anymore it's dangerous and and such so and this quad will fly another day so that's good so here's the rocket engine uh, you can see the back thrust, the charge that knocks the parachute out melted the foam there. And also the video transmitter fell off in flight. Oh, and these wires were shorting out because uh, the rocket engine charge thing was still on. Uh-oh, and I burnt out that switch too. My bad. So that sums up that experiment test. Thanks for watching. Bye.